Travel plans to China have all been worked out. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. statue and you can bet the panda king lit the fuse i've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town Thank <laughs> you. 
nice job breaking into the Panda King's compound. I think I've figured out a way to get to the top of that giant statue. But unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. Murray's all fired up to make the run for the key. While on the blasting station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. I'm going in, Sly. like a good place to try out your new invisibility move. Hold down the circle button to drop out of sight. While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them.
knowledge, but this vault's combination has got to be six, six, seven. was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. Pagoda is some kind of huge gunpowder production plant. Judging by the scale, the Panda King must be making tons of explosives.
For you, I burst in chaos theory. Otherwise, this code would have been unsolvable. Input 932. You found the blueprints for the Panda King's lair. I'll upload the data straight into your binocucom. the trajectory of these rockets and I'm 99% sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Mm. What about that other 1%? Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
freeze, raccoon! How can I freeze when my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice.
Unfortunately, this vault code appears to have been written in owl dialect. I won't be able to crack the code until we meet and defeat the bird who created it. your back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. Press the circle to enter the vault code. Multiple blood vessels burst in my brain while figuring this out. The code had better be 231. Amazing! Colonel Reed Cooper's Time Stopper technique. Press the triangle button and execute a flashbang that will stun all guards in the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. Murray, what are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand and I think to myself, hey Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over here and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere, bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key. We could use the key. Think you could take them? Come on, Sly, they're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right, remember, steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boost you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks for the advice, Sly, but trust me, I got this under control. Get that key. Thank <laughs> you. 
See that ring on the bundle of fireworks? Hook on to it with your cane to hitch a ride. I see you carry Cain of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves, while you... You're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. <laughs> Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Pop. Chop! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Palms of fun! of thunder fiery wheel your skill with that cane is unparalleled <coughs> sly i did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high-tech blasting vehicle and it turns out it can only be found in one place the krakatoa volcano in russia that's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here! Retrieving the Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang and I took a little time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move.